It's time for Sound Bites on Magic 105.5 WMGH and at WMGH.com. We feature local bands and musicians. If you know anyone interested in getting their music on the air, call me, Kim Knoll, at the station at 570-645-2105. Sound Bites is brought to you by the Tamaqua Community Arts Center, 125 Pine Street in Tamaqua. Experience something new at the Tamaqua Community Arts Center, located at 125 Pine Street. Visit their Claywork Studio. You can get your hands dirty working with raw clay to create your own beautiful pottery. Prefer to have an idea provided? Look for the center's Claywork's workshops. Past events included pottery trivets, wine chillers, garden pick, and more. Like ceramics? The center has that too. Each month, join the Tamaqua Community Arts Center for pick and paint. Pick from the shelf and just paint. Visit the Tamaqua Community Arts Center's website at tamaquaarts.org or like the center's Facebook page to get alerts on new events. Welcome to Sound Bites. I am Kim Knoll, and this is our opportunity to feature local and regional bands or bands performing in our area. And I am so excited to have a guest with us from the band Outside the Wall. They're a great band. I've had the opportunity to watch them perform and to introduce them. We have one of the band members with us today. I'm going to ask you to tell us who you are and a little bit about your role with the band. My name is Sean Simpson. I play bass, keyboards, and some vocals with the band and also help with some of the technical stuff as far as some of the effects we do and sound and lights and that kind of stuff also. So you keep busy. And let me just say, this band is outside the wall. It's a Pink Floyd tribute. So you're talking about technical stuff. And I know a lot of technical stuff does go on with the show that really adds to the overall experience, not just the good quality sounds, but everything that makes the experience what it is, right? Yeah, the mm-hmm. the thing with uh, the Pink Floyd, if you've ever seen any videos or concerts of theirs, they're very, very into the lighting and special effects and lasers and video behind the band and pigs floating around the audience and that kind of stuff. So they're very heavy into the show aspect along with the music. Tell us, Sean, how you got involved with Outside the Wall and how the whole thing came to be. I'm always interested when I talk to tribute bands, what made the group decide to go in the tribute direction? It's kind of an interesting story. Um, Gary, the band leader, Gary Weirkamp, and I were playing at a open mic night that we frequented quite often. And it's just a, a Tuesday night get together at a little pub where fellow musicians go up on stage and just play whatever they feel like playing. Mm-hmm. And I had met Gary years before in various other events and with his bands and recording studio situations and stuff like that. So we got up there and decided we were going to play a Pink Floyd song and threw it together pretty quickly. I think we did comfortably numb. After we were done with that, the crowd was kind of crazy into it, which was surprising because (laughs) we didn't really want to do that song, but that was one that everybody kind of knew. So we ended up doing that. And then we were sitting around talking after we were done and jokingly, you know, we kind of said, hey, we ought to just learn the whole first side of the wall and do that next week at the open mic night. So it kind of happened that way. It wasn't the next Tuesday night, but it was a week or two after that one. And we threw together a fairly quick five or six songs from the wall. And if you know anything about Gary, he doesn't do anything kind of halfway. So (laughs) it ended up being he had tracks recorded. He had surround sound set up. (laughs) So it ended up being way bigger than just a regular open mic night thing. (laughs) Gary's a little crazy when it comes to that kind of stuff. So uh, it was a lot of fun. And the people that were there, and mind you, this is a little tiny pub in Scioto, Pennsylvania, that on a regular open mic night might have 30, 40 people in there, and uh, they went crazy because it was just way off the wall. Usually it's just... Way off the wall, you know, pun acoustic, intended. Yeah, Outside usually it's wall. acoustic yeah. guitar <laughs> players singing cover songs, and we came in with this ridiculous production and <laughs> kind of went crazy. And you know, I say off the wall jokingly because originally that's what we were called. Oh, okay. We decided we were going to go with off the wall, and then people started thinking we were a Michael Jackson tribute band, and... So we kind of, oh, yeah, big difference. <laughs> we updated it a little bit to outside the wall. And, oh, okay. So that's kind of the origin of it. Well, that's awesome. So how many members are in the band now? Well, there's seven musicians on stage. Four of us that play. Uh, there's two guitar players, me playing bass, and then a drummer. The three guitar players and me also play keyboards. And Doug Cates, who also plays guitar, plays sax and keyboards. 
and Gary, of course, he's the mastermind behind all the keyboards and guitar playing and all the tracks and the extra recorded stuff. And then we also have three females that are our backup singers, but we're starting to integrate them into playing some instruments also. All the girls are multi-talented as far as playing. I think one plays keyboards, the other one's a pretty accomplished acoustic guitar player, and there's another girl who I think plays everything, and she's actually our newest member. That's cool. And I know that Gary and and the band does throw a lot of really cool things in and you probably might want to keep them as a surprise. So I won't say, but there are little surprises throughout the show that really tie the whole Pink Floyd experience together. Yeah, we try to make it as interesting as we can. Obviously, budgets are always an issue as far as how much we can do. And we're trying to grow with every show that we do, but always a budget issue when it comes to adding extra stuff, you know, Mm -hmm. because it's pretty much usually just comes out of our pockets and right. it is what it is but mm-hmm. we, we try to make it as good as we can with what we have and the music part of it we're responsible for dialing in as close as we can to the songs that we want to recreate as closely as we can we do take some liberties with a couple of the songs that we do just to change them up a little bit but as far as the actual show part goes we try to bring in as much as we can with what we can I just want to make sure our listeners know if you have the opportunity, if you like rock and roll, specifically if you like Pink Floyd, you're going to want to come out. Tell me a little bit about upcoming performances. We're actually playing at the West End Fair up in Gilbert, Pennsylvania. It's a pretty big fair that's been going on for probably decades in that area. I'll be there. Yeah, it's August 26th. Okay. I believe. I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Yeah, we're excited too. Uh, you know, we've played with After Image, the Rush Tribute band, before up at the Sherman Theater in Strasbourg, and they're a great bunch of guys, and they do an amazing job with the Rush songs, which are very difficult to play, and, and I commend them for how well they do it. And it's, so it's always a good time playing with them. It'll be a crazy event, I'm sure. It's going to be a whole lot of fun getting all that together and those two genres of of rock music Mm -hmm. in the same place. It it is a lot, yes. It's a lot of fun. Now, if somebody wants to learn more about the band or hear some of your music, where can they go for information, Sean? We do have a Facebook page, so you can find us on Facebook, Outside the Wall. Valerie Shoemaker, who does most of the work for the band, actually, she does a really great job of updating that Facebook page and keeping people informed with stuff. And Gary is the ringleader, I call him. He's, uh-huh. the, he's the band leader. He d- makes all the musical decisions. But Valerie is really the, the workhorse who does all the promoting and the, the getting us all together thing. And she even bakes for us when we have practice. Oh, so I'm it's, in. She's, <laughs> she's quite amazing. Her and her husband, Wes, yeah. who helps us out a lot. It's the seven people on stage, but there's a whole bunch of people that are backstage that really make it work. You know, we've got people that help us with lighting, people that help us with scenery and sets and building stuff for us and running the computer for the show. And it's quite a group effort. It's not just the people up on stage. Right. Absolutely. Good to point that out. And we are going to listen to a song from you right now. Thank you so much for taking time out to talk to me today. Sure. No problem.
been listening to our interview with a local musician. This is Sound Bites on Magic 105.5 WMGH and at WMGH.com. Sound Bites has been brought to you by the Tamaqua Community Arts Center. Call 570-668-1192.